I want you to know that we are here to work here. We are here to work here. Everything right from beginning is to warfare. Warfare against the enemy. So whenever you come here, please always remember that. Have that at the back of your mind. That you are here to warfare. And what are you warfaring with? Look at it once again. Some of you know it, but just let's look at it once again. Look at Ephesians in chapter 6. Because the way some of you pray, sometimes I can see that you don't know why you are here. Ephesians chapter 6, let us look at verse 12 once again. We have known it and we want to look at it again. It says, because our battle is not primarily against humans, but against the devil that is at work in humans. Maybe a different interpretation, but I'm just simplifying it so you can know the reason you are worth hearing. Some of you that come here to sit down, let me tell you, everybody with his own problem, some people's problem started one year, some people's problem started yesterday, some people have been carrying their own around since their adult life. If you don't pray like you should pray, you can imagine a big tree and a small tree. Which one is easier to cut? Which one is easier to uproot? So if you are carrying a big tree and you have, you, 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 instead of you to look for a very, very powerful machine that you can use to operate it and you, you are going there with a, with, a, with a hole. You are deceiving yourself and I don't want you to deceive yourself. That is why I'm saying all of this to you. I'm not a pastor that deceives people. Nobody will pray for you as much as you will pray for yourself. I'm telling you. Nobody, if they say, oh, don't worry, I will pray for you, it cannot be as much as you will pray for yourself. If you are serious, then you have to know how to pray. Because we are war fearing. Let me read it again. Ephesians 6 and in verse 12. Because our battle, our warfare, is not primarily against humans, but against the devil that is at work in humans. Can you see that? Devil that is at work in humans. When you see them, they look like normal people. But you will not know that the poison they, that they have inside them is much more than that of a scorpion. Because they are devils that are residing inside humans. Now it involves waging war against unseen forces authorities against rulers of darkness and spiritual powers in high places so if they are invisible forces how do you fight them they could be people you meet on the way to the to the to the to the market they could be people that are working with you they could be people that are looking at you every day you come to work and they are wishing evil, they are praying evil in their mind against you. 
How do you know them? They will not write it on top of their head. If you can see people that will write something in front of their head that I am trouble, I am trouble, I give trouble to people, will you not run away from that person? These are invisible forces. Therefore, listen to me very well now. Therefore, prayer is the only platform where the battles in our lives, battles in our families, battles in the life of our loved ones, battle in the life of that prodigal son, that prodigal daughter, And all the spirits that are working in them, it is through this prayer platform that you can win the battle. And as you pray today, you have been praying, God is present with us. God has been present with us right from the beginning. And I feel it. If we, even when... When we, we were being led in worship, when our, our sister was leading us in prayer, I know that God is present with us. But you are still going to pray. And as you pray, I want you to believe that your prayers shall receive heaven's attention in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells me in Psalm 63, uh, Psalm 68, Psalm 68, and in the first two verses of Psalm 68, 6 8, the Bible tells me that when God arrives, when God arrives, his enemies will be scattered. God will arise for somebody today. By the reason of that scripture, I prophesy to someone under the sound of my voice right now that by the time this service is over, you will hear the news that all your enemies are no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is going to arise for you. And the Lord is saying, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, that there is someone listening to me right now whose business has closed down. This person's business was closed down. But God said, I should tell you tonight, that that business will reopen in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who you are, whether you are listening to me from any platform, but that is what God says. That your business was closed down. But that business is going to reopen again. In the mighty name of Jesus. And there is someone listening to me right now. God, the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That all your virtues. That the enemy has swallowed. That by the time this service is over. They will vomit everything. They will vomit everything. All your children's virtues, all your grandchildren's virtues that have been swallowed by the enemy, the Spirit of the Lord is saying it to my ears that they will be vomited. Everything will be vomited. If you believe God, then you will catch the one that belongs to you. The one that you want, you will catch it. You are still going to pray, but you will pray when God tells me to lead you in prayer. But right now, God is saying to you, and God is saying to somebody now, He is saying that in many homes, many homes of the people that are listening to me, that have faith in God, that believe what God is saying, that in many homes, there will be a laughter, laughter of joy, laughter of new testimonies. is coming to many homes amongst you. If you are going to be one of them, then you better let your amen sound loud wherever you are. The word of the Lord tells me 
in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that enemy that comes against me, against you, in one way, that they will flee before you in seven ways. That is what the Bible tells me. Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you read from verse 1 to 7, you will see it there. Because of time, we are not reading. But you can write it down. That if they come against you in one way, they will flee before you in seven ways. By the reason of that scripture. I said by the reason of that scripture. In the name that is above all other names. The name that God has exalted. The name of Jesus. From now on. I said from this moment onward. All the enemies that stand up against you. They will be smitten by the almighty God himself. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, when I, when I tell you that enemies, these are invisible enemies that you are fighting. They are not enemies that you can hold, that you can say, you, you are the one. No. Even the one that you are not suspecting could be the one. Because it is the enemy, it is the, the spirit of the devil that is working in them. They look like human beings, but they are devil. That reminds me of the story of Solomon, or of Samson, of Samson, in Judges, Judges chapter 15. Write it down. You can read it at your own time. Judges chapter 15. When you look at it from verses 11 to 15, it tells us about household enemies household enemies people that you think are your friends people that you think are your family members household enemies what happened here about three thousand of them they came together they came together and they decided to get rid of something they decided to get rid of something they saw something as a troublemaker. They saw something as a person that is not allowing them to get the best thing from government. That this is a person that is not allowing us to get the best from government. Let's get rid of him. So what did they do? They felt that something when they catch him and hand him over to the Philistines, that he will never come back again. When they got to him, they said, listen, you, you, you are troubling us. We, uh, we, you are not allowing us to get the best from, from, from the Philistines. You are the reason the Philistines are fighting us. And we have come here so that we can take you to them. Yeah, the only question he asked them, is this, I hope you are not going to kill me. They said, no, we are not going to kill you. We are going to hand you over to them. Then he said, okay, if that is all what you will do, then go ahead. And then they tied him. They tied his hand. And they took him to the Philistines. You know, when they were doing this, they were very sure that something would not come back home again. They knew what they were doing. They wanted to get rid of him. They wanted to kill him. They wanted to, to, to make him to, 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 to disappear. They thought he would never come back home. But what happened? When you read that story at your own time, you will find that God disappointed them. God disappointed them. By the reason of that scripture, every household enemy that wants to hand you over to external enemies, they will be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every household enemy that want that, that are planning to hand you over, hand your children over or your grandchildren over. To external enemies. I said by the reason of the anointing of God. By the reason of the scripture that I have read to you. 
they will be disappointed. They will be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, open shame. All the enemies in your father's house, all the enemies in your mother's house, all the enemies in your husband's house, all the enemies in your wife's house, after the service of today, they shall be disappointed. They shall be disappointed. They shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. All those who thought you will not reach your goals. All those who thought they will kill your business. They will kill your projects. All those who wanted to kill your dream. Like the brothers of Joseph tried to do. In the name of Jesus. After today. You will reach your goal. Whether they like it or not. And when you have reached your goal. They will come and bow down before you in the order of Joseph and his brothers. They will come and bow down to you. The Lord is telling me now, the Spirit of the Lord is telling me now that there is someone, someone listening to me tonight who is downcast. I don't know if you are that person. You are downcast because of all the trials you have been going through. Because of the challenges that you have been facing. But God said I should tell you. Good news. God said I should tell you. That your son. Your son shall rise again. Your son shall rise again. The enemy thought your son has gone down. That your son has gone. That the cloud has covered it. But God said that your son shall rise again. It will rise again. And listen to this. You know in Psalm 23. And in verse 5. The word of God said. Thou prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemy. I assure every one of you. Listening to me tonight. That whether the enemies like it or not. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your children. It shall be well with your grandchildren. It shall be well with your loved ones. I said it shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. Right now, I want you to pray. Before I pray for you. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord. Remove every stronghold of the devil from my life in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, remove every stronghold of the devil, of the devil from my life, from my children's life, from my grandchildren's life. Whatever is that stronghold that they have been using against you, whether they are physical, whether they are spiritual, say, oh Lord, remove them. Remove them from my life. Remove them from the life of my children and my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Say, oh Lord, remove every stronghold. Today. Today is the day that you will remove strongholds. Today is the day. Don't let this stronghold remain again. Don't let it remain. Don't let it remain after today. In Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, in the place of the blessing that you have prepared for me, ah, oh Lord, don't let anyone else take my place. Pray that prayer. Say, oh Lord, don't let anyone else take my place. In that place where you have prepared blessing for me, every blessing that you have prepared for me, oh Lord, don't let anybody else take my place. Don't let anybody else take the place of my children, my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus. Let 
Don't let anyone take my place, O Lord. Don't let anyone else take my place. Don't let anyone else take the place of my children and my grandchildren. In that place where you have prepared blessing for me. O Lord, direct me there. Direct me there. At the right time. At the right time. At the right time. Don't let them give that blessing away to somebody else before I get there. In the name of Jesus. Don't let them give it away to somebody else before I get there. You have given it to me. Don't let anybody else take it, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, give me the wisdom. Say, O oh Lord, give me the wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. So that I will know what to do in every situation that I find myself in life. O oh Lord, give me divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Oh Lord, give me divine wisdom. So that in every situation I find myself, oh Lord, I will know what to do. I will know how to act. I will know what to do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Spirit of the Lord is saying to someone listening to me right now that the gift and the potential that he has de deposited in you that you are not using it to maximum impact. I don't know who you are, but that's what the Lord is saying to you. So you are going to pray this prayer now. Say, O oh Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, stir up every gift that have been dormant, every potential that have been dormant, that you have deposited in me, stir them up tonight, O oh Lord. Let me use them to maximum impact, pray that prayer. Let me use them to maximum impact. Every gift, every gift that you have deposited in me, every potential that you have deposited in me, O oh Lord, let them stir up, stir them up, stir them up, so that I will use them to maximum impact. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to pray for you now. By the reason of the anointing. Starting from today, starting from today, receive the grace to start operating fully in your God-ordained place, in your God-ordained level, in the mighty name of Jesus. God said, I should pray this prayer, I should decree it for you. You have prayed it earlier, but God said I should decree it again for you. Because there is somebody that is still putting on that filthy garment. In their heart, in their mind, they are still held down with that filthy garment. Somebody, God said it. I don't know who you are, but you think you can never take off that filthy garment. By the reason of the revelation of God, I decree now and I declare that all those ones that are still putting on filthy garment that the enemy have placed upon them those filthy garments are removed now in the mighty name of jesus they are taken off now in the mighty name of jesus by the reason of the anointing of god that is coming upon you now god will single you out out amongst your contemporaries amongst your contemporaries god will single you out for promotion he will single you out for blessing he will single you out for all round breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus today as god has given me the anointing i decree now that you will laugh i say you will laugh you will laugh against every adversary of your soul 
against every adversary of your soul, you are going to have a laughter over them in the name of Jesus. They thought they will laugh over your downfall, but God said you are the one that will laugh. Somebody, you are laughing over your adversary. You are laughing over your enemy. I cancel the plans of every form of enemies in your life right now. Whatever plan they have made, I cancel it now by the reason of the anointing. I cancel it now. Any plan they have made against your children, your grandchildren, I cancel them now. As long as God is alive, you are going to experience signs. You will experience wonders of God. After the service of today, I decree now to that person that frustration, frustration upon every form of Egypt that have been chasing you. I say frustration will come upon every form, anyone that represents an Egypt that have been chasing you, that have been terrorizing you, that have been troubling your life, they will be frustrated after today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they have been using to hold you down, whatever they have been using to hold down your destiny, I can see it being lifted off. I can see it being lifted off. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare now your supernatural release. Take it now, your supernatural release. Whatever have remained a concern in your life is going to become a testimony after today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has remained a problem in your life, I said they are becoming a miracle after today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree now that you are untouchable. You are untouchable for any evil. You are untouchable for any evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release upon you now the ability to do what is required so as not to fall into the trap of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the reason of the anointing of God, I destroy by fire whatever is in your life that is hindering the confirmation of God's word in your life. Anything that you are still holding in your life, anything that you are still keeping in your life, by the reason of the anointing of God. I said they are destroyed by fire now. Anything that is hindering the confirmation of God's word in your life, they are being destroyed now by fire. As from today, I said as from this moment, you, your household, your children, your grandchildren, you will be known for signs and wonders. I say you will be known for signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is opposing your freedom, they are being crushed now. I say they are being crushed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every adversary that is looking for you to cause you shame and destruction by the reason, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, they are being destroyed now. They are being frustrated now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever refuses to let you go. I said whatever refuses to let you go. Like Pharaoh. I said whatever refuses to let you go. After this very moment that I have prayed for you. They will go down before you. I said they will go down for your sake. They will go down for your sake. They will go down for your children's sake. They will go down for your grandchildren's sake. In Jesus' name. Amen.